Well, bromine water is a foul-smelling solution. Uh, really nasty stuff, but it can be used to detect if you have an alkene. Let's start by looking at an alkane, which is a saturated hydrocarbon, and there's an, a part of an alkene, which has to have a carbon-carbon double bond. Now, both of these uh, chemicals are colorless, but bromine itself is a uh, reddy brown. Bromine water, same thing really, reddy brown. If I pour it into the alkane, it does just what you'd think it would do, which is everything kind of ends up red. So there's no reaction there. If you have an alkane and you add bromine, no reaction. It remains red, the color of the bromine that you just poured in. Well, let's have a look for an alkene, and I'm going to fill this up. Uh, there is a mountain in Indonesia called Mount Bromo that smells really bad too. Oh, well, that's funny. You pour that in there, and the red color's gone. It has been decolorized. So what happens is the carbon-carbon double bond is broken, and a bromine goes on each side of it. And that chemical there, that dibromo, is colorless. And so the red bromine becomes colorless as the bromine molecule is added over the carbon-carbon double bond. And uh, it adds one to each side as well, but I don't think the IB cares about that anymore.